There's a little pony and his mom. I don't know if it's his mom, maybe it's his dad. But there's a pony. Hopefully they come up closer to us here. <laughs> Look at him. Wow. <laughs> so it's been a couple days. We made it into Ocean City safe and sound. When we came in the inlet at night, it was uh, it was exciting to say the least, but we made it. He was riding some waves down, no problem. We've had bad weather, so I haven't been able to get to this forest day repair. We're super grateful we left North Carolina when we did. Specifically right there in Silver Lake, the uh, Ocracoke area, they're getting pummeled with wind, like 65 knot winds. Uh, we're supposed to see 35 knot winds. Thankfully, we have not seen that yet, but we're expecting that to happen this afternoon. In preparations for that, we took down a lot of windage on Sersha. Specifically, our stack pack. That last night we still had our stack pack up, and we we're getting some a little bit of wind, and it was listing Sersha over just a little bit, enough to make it uncomfortable to sleep. So last night we took down as much as we could. We also took down our bimini and we locked in our solar panels. That improved our uh, comfort drastically, so we were able to get some sleep last night. Right now we're just waiting this out and once things calm down, I'll be able to get to this forest day repair. The calm after the storm. We survived. All right, we've been stuck in the boat for a couple of days. It's a little windy today, so boat can't fix the force set yet. So we're gonna go and explore. Yum. Went in Maryland. <laughs> Order all the seafood. <laughs> What'd we get? Clams, tuna bites, crab soup. Since we came in at nighttime, this is kind of what it looked like. But I think this guy has a little more power behind him, but watch him get stuck in these waves. Yeah, they, you get stuck right here. Yeah, because you got an outgoing flow or an ebb. Yeah. The ebbs look at out, him, look at him. The waves are in. This was kind of how we felt. I feel like I wasn't making as much progress as this guy. <laughs> he says, that was a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Who said that? That guy. <laughs> the, ca the captain. So when we came in, it was an ebb out. So flow was against us and the wind was on our back. So it created more waves and 
We were standing still, it seemed like, for a little bit. I literally don't feel like I'm moving. You're, you're moving forward. Yeah. But we were slowly making progress forward. I think it was, it, it felt like this, but it did not feel like those waves out there when we came in. I think it's different when you're out there too. Yeah. But this is definitely how it was coming in. It was very choppy like this. 90 years ago, on August 23rd, a hurricane barreled down on the resort town of Ocean City. And after three days of heavy wind and rain, Ocean City Inlet was formed, separating Assateague Island from the main island. The ironic thing is that for decades before this, Ocean City had been pleading with the state and federal politicians to build them an inlet. Wow, look at those waves. Brothers, Back in 1902, business owners would actually lay down a few wooden boards in the sand each morning for their guests to walk on, and then have to pick them up every night. It wasn't until 1910 that they actually made a permanent boardwalk, which is what we use today. Hold on, I gotta give you the big scope of this, you guys. Yes. <laughs> We're not gonna survive. We're not even as far north as we need to go. I got my old man <laughs> socks on. Those are in style now. So we are moving, but not very far. Just going across the way. Over there. All right, sorry, before the tide picks up. And before the people come. So pretty. All right, we are on a recon again, re recon mission. Coffee. <laughs> right now it's about the tide that we wanna go out on. And since the winds are gonna be pretty much the same when we leave, we just wanna go check out the inlet, see what it's gonna be like. All right. Since we're going to be leaving a little bit later today, around the same tide as what's happening right now, we wanted to just take a glance and see what the conditions are going to be like. They're nowhere near as bad as what we saw the other day at the boardwalk. So I think it's going to be relatively easy. Garbage check. <laughs> the little pirate ship. Going to see some horses. <laughs> see them? You see them? Wow, there's so many. Life made. These wild horses of Assateague Island are descendants of domestic animals brought to the island over 300 years ago, which technically makes them feral, but wild sounds so much more fun. <laughs> this is 
One legend tells of a Spanish galleon running aground along the coast in the 17th century, freeing the horses. A second suggests pirates may have abandoned them. But a more likely theory is that farmers in the colonial times brought them here from the mainland to graze so they could avoid paying taxes on their land. The horses are split into two main herds, one on the Virginia side and one on the Maryland side. They're separated by a fence at the Virginia-Maryland state line. These herds have divided themselves into bands and each band occupies a home range. And after a little research, I think we stumbled across the chestnut band. I was even able to find some of their names. This is one of the coolest experiences. Wild ponies. Look at this guy in the back. Keep coming closer, yes. Okay. The mom did that. Amazing! Bye, babies. Thanks for hanging out. Man, this life. <laughs> I gotta get over on the other side. I mean, this was not supposed to be a stop. But I, what do you, you make the best of it. <laughs> now, we gotta go fix the force day. Yeah, <laughs> that makes it worth it. All right, Mr. Socks. What you doing now? Hating on my old man socks? They're not old man socks. They are them. old man socks. <laughs> At least in my mind. Back in my day, this is how my my Grampy. daddy's daddy used to wear them. My grampy. My grampy. So, in order to drop this, we need to loosen the stays. Um, that way, there's no tension. And we already have the green line forward, so that's in place. Then we got to send you up. You're gonna un do the the stay up at the at the top of the mast we'll take you back down i'll do the repair and then send you back up so you can put it back up and then we tension everything back and we should be good to go Might literally take, good yeah, to go because we're go. hoping to leave today yeah hopefully we can get this done in time um it is it's the weekend so we actually moved spots so there would be less traffic but it's really we're just a little further away from the channel so the wakes aren't as bad um yeah is what it is all right the scary part's done no nah, what the scary part is i have to shimmy all the way up there and untach it scary for you this was a scary part for me <laughs> Make sure your feet are on the ground <laughs> sort of you want to send me up I no can go way up. Let's wait for this. Yep. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. We've had a few big wakes. It's kind of freaking brandy out, but the mass hasn't really moved much, so she's in good hands. Please don't leave me. Okay, it's out. Hold on, pin's out. You have the pin and all that, right? Hold on. I got the, yeah, I got the cotter pin and I'm getting the pin out. Okay.
There we go. Tie it to me. How do I tie this to me? I don't know how I'm tying this to me, hon. All right. The pirate ship under attack. Look how busy it is. just snagged her. Uh, who knows? Wear, corrosion, all the above. Mainly wear. They're Probably. only five years old. Yeah, they're only five years old. A lot but of people have been asking if we want to go synthetic. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look into it because you have a lot of friction happening there. We'd have to sleeve it or come up with some sort of... Soft shackles. Yeah, but like even even a frictionless ring or something. That way there's very little um, friction happening. Very little rub. I would like to do synthetic. I think it would be great. Yeah, I think it would work. It's it would just... just having all the proper pieces. I mean, we could go all synthetic. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just the expense of going all synthetic. Mm -hmm. You gotta buy all the blocks and then the learning curve of tensioning it and all that. Yes, he's still wearing his socks. Hater. <laughs> They're like, look at those solar pedals. <laughs> I mean, they're, yeah. I don't know if it's doing much right now. Oh man, it's broken here too. It is? Yeah, Wait, different, oh, completely different oh, strand. We need to check our hanks. Yeah. It's a different, it's a different strand? A different strand is broken, Let's see. What do you think happened? It's just got to be where, because we were Hank on. I don't know, if you guys are, if you guys remember your Hank on days, um, how long did your force day uh, rigging last? Because we only got five years out of ours before it started wow. falling apart. Is and that about is, right? Let us know in the comments. This is 316, right? Yeah, it's 316. Now the fun part, getting this all separated. <laughs> Bust out the blowtorch. Our force stay is attached using stay locks. So that allows us to make these repairs on the go. A punch. Well, sometimes the cone can be saved. Oh, the cone's inside of it. Yeah. Ooh, it's still hot. So in order to get this guy over the wire, I have to separate the outer layer of the 19 by one, and it creates like this cool little claw. <laughs> and then you slide this guy over. But now comes the tricky part. Getting these guys to wrap around this cone. And you gotta leave an eighth of an inch of the wire sticking out. Oh, wrong way. 
to see the cone likes to pop out. I am making passage brownies while Bo is uh, finishing off this thing. I feel like I have a more important job. Probably not though. <laughs> So we don't have a, a gun, because ours broke. And we don't feel like trekking into town to get one. So we're using a, a plastic bag, with a little duct tape on the end and the corner. You just smoosh it all in there and now you got your homemade uh, squeezy thing. <laughs> <laughs> also but, can do this for frosting. <laughs> But got this all nice and neat, and it's somewhat cinched down already. I like to pre-cinch it to get the wires in place and just make sure everything looks good. Make sure there's no, um, you're not like in the gaps anywhere, because there is a um, a slit in that cone, and if you get a wire stuck in there, then it's not going to properly set. I'm using a polyurethane. Uh, construction sealant instead of using like 5200 I find this stuff actually is better because it's it seals up the threads but it also is easier to undo whereas the 5200 as you saw I had to use a blowtorch and at that it doesn't get it all so I like this stuff and that's what you want. You want it squeezing out that other end. And nice and tight. Yeah. Now, back up the mast you go. <laughs> it's so busy out there. Actually, it's calmed down. Is it lunchtime? Maybe. It is pure madness on the weekend here. But Brandy's doing a good job bouncing around up there. She should be done in the next couple of minutes. Smoker! Got something in my mouth. Just marking up where we need to cut it and then repeat the process. <laughs> Just out here in the sunshine in the bow. In the rocking bow. The rocking bow. Golly, that's a lot of people. Probably enough goop. This is much more difficult with this wire bouncing all over the place. Finally, done. Now on to the other chores. It's been nice, Ocean City, but we're out of here. We have been here for several days and we are ready to keep on moving. We've got the four stay fixed. We've gone through the storm. Everything's good, perfect day. We've got southwest wind, south, southwest wind. We've raised the head sail or our main sail. We're gonna raise the head sail because we're probably gonna need as much power as possible to get out of this inlet. So Bo's raising the anchor now and we're gonna be on our way. Hey love, where is that really shallow area up there to the left?
water alarm. Six feet. It was just one. You're good. So how nervous are you? A little bit. I kind of liked it better when I couldn't see. <laughs> now I can see and people are like in their traffic and the wind's blowing. So turn a bit. Turn a bit to uh, port. I mean there's a red marker right here too. Okay. You don't see this every day folks. <laughs> I looked at this inlet two hours ago and I could see white caps. Now it actually seems pretty glassy, relatively speaking. I'm sure there's still waves there. We hit it just as slack tide. We actually timed it right this time. Yeah, it's like right in the middle of slack tide. I'm going to film up there. Yell at me. You're headed right to rock. Yeah, I know. It needs me to be there. Okay. I'm going to put you down because I'm sure she's going to need me right now. are out of Ocean City, uh, the channel, the inlet. Oh, it was so easy. So easy. We picked it perfect timing. And uh, we had like a nice south, southeast wind. And yeah, we gorgeous just- Gorgeous sunset. <laughs> powered through it, yeah. I, I think everybody's jaws were dropping. I was like, oh yay, we're giving people a little did, sunset show. Did you see the cops? Yeah, they were <laughs> like, what is, what are, what are <laughs> what's, they doing? What's going on over here? <laughs> There's not very many sailboats in this area, so. I don't think a lot of them are sailing in and out of the channel either. Yeah, but, we're, only, hey. we're the only crazy ones doing <laughs> that, so. But yeah, it was, it was fun. We have a gorgeous sunset. And it looks like we're gonna have some downwind sailing for the next day at least. Yeah. Hopefully it sticks around. I'd like you to at least drop the mainsail because this is not working. Well, since we have a lot of side swell, we are putting out the whisker pole for the head sail since we are pretty much downwind. Almost dead downwind. Yeah, and because of the waves, we're the head sail is flapping back and forth. Making it very uncomfortable and we're not going as fast, so. That beautiful sunset behind you while you do your work. Yeah, it is gorgeous. <laughs> 